Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes, okay, so before we start, let's have a system check first. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Very good. Can you see me? Uh, no. You mean my face you cannot see? Uh, no, I can see both of your face and your screen too. Okay, so that's uh, great. So welcome to my class. My name is Teacher A.M. I am 22 years old, single, no children, but I have a boyfriend. I've been teaching online for two years, but here in Pantado, um, on November, I'll be one year in Pantado. Yeah, so today I will be your demo test teacher. So do you have any question about me? Ah, okay. So for my hobbies, what I love to do is I love reading books, watching movies, especially series, Korean drama. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> then I love traveling also and sometimes I go to the gym. So do you have any question about myself? Um, no. Okay. So now I want you to introduce yourself. Okay. My name is Quinn Yu, but just call me Chen. Okay, Chen. Yeah, I'm 13 years old, and I'm a student at um, Daming Secondary School. Uh, my hobbies are listening to music and singing. Not only that, I really love to uh, look at the sky. It's really peaceful. Yeah, it's very peaceful, especially what color of the sky, what time of the day that you love the sky? Is it in the morning, afternoon? Um, anytime. Anytime. Wow, that's great. Okay, so how old are you? Um, I'm 13. 13. So yeah. how can I call you? Just call me Chen. Chen. Oh. J-E-N-N. Yeah, Chen. So, hello, Chen. Nice to meet you. I'm happy to see you in my class. Yeah, so that's a beautiful name. So now, Chen, we're going to start with our, our demo test. This is grade 8 demo test. So what grade are you now? Are you in grade 8 or grade, grade 9? Uh, I'm in grade 8. Yeah, so is this your first time in Pantado? Yeah, this is my first time. That's great. But you know, Chen, your English is good. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so for this demo, it's divided into five parts. We have vocabulary, grammar, listening, reading, and speaking. So let's start with our vocabulary. Every item is equivalent to two points. So there are five items. So all in all, if all your answers are correct, you're, uh, you'll get 10 points. So you're going to circle the correct answer. So number one, it is a thing that you use in the kitchen. I think refrigerator. Okay, this is a cooker. Yeah. Yeah, cooker is when we cook our rice, our food. Yeah, I know that. Okay. So number two, it will take me an hour to do the household. Household blank. A. Is this your final answer? It will take me an hour to do the household work. Yeah, I think. Okay, this is chores. Yeah, just like cleaning the house, uh, doing the laundry, sweeping the floor, like that. They found some electrical blank in the room. Device. Letter B or A? Um, A. Okay, very good. Number four, we live in the room, blank the store. Above the store. Great, 
Great job, Chen. So here, she is looking at the woman sitting A next, B opposite, C near or D nearly. Opposite. Okay, this is opposite. Very good. So for this one, you got six out of ten. So, do you have any question regarding these words here? No. Okay, great. So, let's proceed with task two is reading. I want you to read this one and circle your answer. You can take your time. Do you know how to write in Zoom? Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, do you know how to write in Zoom just like this one? Uh, I, I don't know. You don't know? Okay, you go to to the upper part of your Zoom. Yeah, you, you move your mouse to the upper part of your Zoom. Can you see something? No. I mean, go where you can see. Um... How do you mute yourself? You go to that one. What can you see when you, there's mute, stop audio, security, participants, chat. Can you see this? It's just like the menu in Zoom. More apps, remote control, annotate, pause, share. Can you see that one? Share screen. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, okay, I so you go to annotate. You click the annotate. Can you see the annotate? No, I didn't get it. I mean, what can you see? You go to chat. Can you see the chat? Remote yeah. control. Yep, I can. See. Yeah. Okay, so what other things can you see? Can you please read? Read uh, things on your screen? Yeah, uh, I know. I mean, in your screen, mute, stop video, the Zoom features. What can you see? Oh, I don't know. I wait, how do I say this one? Can you see um, stop video and mute in Zoom? Yeah. Okay, next to that, what else can you see? Mm. Is box chat? Chat, what else? Uh, and the share, share screen. Okay, what else? Uh, recording. Okay. And react, react, react. Okay, what else? Leave. Uh huh. Um, yeah, that's, that's awesome. all. Yeah. Ah, uh, so you don't have annotate. Uh, it's okay. What are you using? Are you using phone? No, I'm using a laptop. Laptop. Okay. So for number one, I want you to read this one and just tell me your answer directly. Okay, they don't allow dog, dog, dog here. Um, I think I choose um, to park. Okay, they don't allow parking here. Oh, parking. Yeah, so just tell me directly. Don't say that, that, that. They don't allow parking here like that. Okay, how about number two? Uh, if she were... A color, she would be red. Okay, she would be red. Very good. How about number three? References are not used in, uh, in the something, I don't know. Okay, very good, or not? Yes, you say references. References. 
examination. Examination. Okay, when you say examination, it's just like a test. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, how about number four? You shouldn't stay up too late because it's not good for your health. Very good. How about number five? Uh, my aunt hasn't visited us since she moved to the new town. Okay, great job. So for this one, you got four. I know not four. I'm sorry. Eight out of ten. Only one mistake. So let's proceed with task three. I want you to listen to four people talking about events in the past. And you match the speakers with numbers one to four with the statements A to E, there's one extra statement here. Yeah. Here it is. Progress test unit one. One. When I was nine, I broke the top of a cupboard in my bedroom. When mum came upstairs and asked about the noise, I stood in front of the cupboard to hide it and told her it was nothing. After that, I put magazines and books on top of the cupboard so that Mum couldn't see it properly. I felt bad about not telling the truth, so I told Mum what really happened a few months later. 2. One day, my friend took a new smartphone out of her bag I was envious because I really wanted a phone like that, but they cost so much money. I was very suspicious when she refused to say where it was from. I asked her which shop she got it from, or if she found it somewhere, but she didn't say anything. I asked her again and again, and in the end I found out that her parents gave it to her for her birthday. She was embarrassed to tell me at first because it was such an expensive present. I was just happy to know the truth. 3. I play football for my school and one time we played a game against another school and the players weren't very nice. I was a little bit anxious when I took the ball off one of the players and I was right to be. He tripped me up and I sprained my ankle. Although my ankle really hurt, I played for the rest of the game. At the end, I got chosen as the man of the match, and I felt extremely pleased when my coach told me how well I played. 4. My teacher's good, and I usually really enjoy her lessons. But last week I had a bit of a problem with some grammar that she taught us. I don't think she explained it very well, and when she gave us some homework, I couldn't do it. I didn't tell her my problem for a few days because I was worried and didn't know what to say. When I finally told her, she explained it in a different way, and it was really clear. Now, I want you to listen again. Progress test, unit one. One. When I... By the way, I want you to note or to take note your answer because you cannot write here so that after the audio, you can just tell me your answer. Okay, Chen? Okay. Okay, here it is. It was nine. I broke the top of a cupboard in my bedroom. When mum came upstairs and asked about the noise, I stood in front of the cupboard to hide it and told her it was nothing. After that, I put magazines and books on top of the cupboard so that mum couldn't see it properly. I felt bad about not telling the truth, so I told mum what really happened a few months later. 2. One day, my friend took a new smartphone out of her bag. 
I was envious because I really wanted a phone like that, but they cost so much money. I was very suspicious when she refused to say where it was from. I asked her which shop she got it from, or if she found it somewhere, but she didn't say anything. I asked her again and again, and in the end I found out that her parents gave it to her for her birthday. She was embarrassed to tell me at first because it was such an expensive present. I was just happy to know the truth. 3. I play football for my school and one time we played a game against another school and the players weren't very nice. I was a little bit anxious when I took the ball off one of the players and I was right to be. He tripped me up and I sprained my ankle. Although my ankle really hurt, I played for the rest of the game. At the end, I got chosen as the man of the match and I felt extremely pleased when my coach told me how well I played. 4. My teacher's good and I usually really enjoy her lessons, but last week I had a bit of a problem with some grammar that she taught us. I don't think she explained it very well, and when she gave us some homework, I couldn't do it. I didn't tell her my problem for a few days because I was worried and didn't know what to say. When I finally told her, she explained it in a different way, and it was really clear. Okay, so A's, uh, so what's number one? A is speaker number one. Okay, very good. Who is speaker number two? Speaker number two is D. Okay. Ah, yeah. So how ab so this one? How about B? Who's what speaker is this? Speaker Blank was embarrassed about losing marks. Um. No, I didn't choose anyone. Okay, very good. How about letter C? Speaker Blank carried on doing something with an injury. Uh, C is speaker three. Very good. How about number four? I letter D. Speaker Blank was worried about how. Or his or friend got something. Uh, letter D is uh, speaker two. Okay, very good. How about E? Speaker blank didn't understand what he or she need to do. Um, letter E is speaker four. Okay, great job because you got a perfect score of ten out of ten here. So great. Let's proceed. With the transcript, I want you to practice reading the transcript, Chen.
Wait, I want you to read this one loudly, Chen. Yeah, because I want to hear you. Um, okay. Oh, Speaker yeah. one. When I was nine, I broke the top of the cupboard in my bedroom. When mom came upstairs and asked about the noise, I stood in front of the cupboard to hide it and told her it was nothing. After that, I put magazines and books on top of the cupboard so that mom couldn't see it properly. I felt bad about not telling the truth. So I told my mom what really happened a few months later. Speaker, speaker two, one day my friend took a new smartphone out of her bag. I was envious. Um, help me about that word. What, Chen? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, the second, the second one. one. Yeah. Where? Yeah. This? I, I was, I was. Envious. In, envious. Okay, thank yeah. you. I was envious because I really wanted a phone like that, but they cost so much money. I was very, um, suspicious. Suspicious, suspicious. When she refused to say where it was from, I asked her which shop she got it from or if she found it somewhere, but she didn't say anything. I asked her again and again. In the end, I found out that her parents gave it to her for, the, for her birthday. She was embarrassed to tell me at first because it was such an expensive present. I was just happy to know the truth. Okay. How about speaker three? Um, I play football for my school. And one time we play a game against another school. And the players weren't very nice. I was a bit uh, anxious. Anxious. When I took the ball of one of the players, and I was right to be. He tripped me up and I sprained my ankle, although my ankle really hurt. I played for the rest of the game. At the end, I got chosen as the man of the match. And I feel extremely pleased when my coach told me how well I played. Mm -hmm. Last speaker four. Um, my sis, my teacher is good and I usually enjoy her lessons, but last weekend I had a bit, I had a bit of a problem with some grammar that she taught us. I don't think she explained it, she explained it really well. And when she gave us some homework, I couldn't do it. Uh, I didn't tell her my problem for a few days because I was worried and didn't know what to say. When I finally told her, she explained it in a different way and it, and it was really clear. Okay, very good. Thank you for reading that one. Chen, so far I can see that you're a great reader and a fast reader too. Okay, so now here I want you, this will be our reading. Ah, so the other one, the task two is grammar. Let me record your score. Grammar, then this one is reading. I want you to read the text about the most dangerous ha journey loudly. Then you match paragraphs A to E of the text with question one to seven. So please note that there are two extra questions here. Yeah. So I want you to read this one loudly, Chen. Um, a, how do you feel about car journeys? Do you get a bit bored as the river how long is going to take then and then fall asleep? Or do you get extremely anxious? This is exactly how I feel last month when I took a trip down the most dangerous road in the world. B, 
the north youngest road in Bolivia goes from La Paz, which is a very large city to the town of Coroico in the mountain um, Where are you? Uh, what yes. part are you now? Uh, part B. Part B next to? Yeah, wait. Wait. Where? Here? No, the line two. Line two. Ah, yeah. this one? No, no. In the mountain after that. In the mountain. This is region. Region. Okay. Yeah. In the mountain region of the, the Amazon rainforest, the road is about 69 ki kilometers long, but in that short distance, it goes down from about four. Uh, 4060 60 